Hey everybody and welcome back to Investment Honey where we talk about various crypto projects. Before we begin, I want to let you know that I'm not your financial advisor. I do not provide financial advice on the channel and I don't even encourage you to invest. But what I am going to do is share with you my own personal opinion and views on the projects discussed on the channel. So with that said, we're looking at iMove. Now iMove, they just had a pre-sale and they have launched. You know, So we're going to take a look at the pre-sale real quick and let you see they've got some badges up here. Say food badge, an audit badge, and a KYC badge. So, as far as the audit is concerned, you know, they passed their audit without any high or medium severity uh, issues. The team is KYC'd. Uh, the listing and pre-sale rate, you know, was the same. So, you didn't miss out on anything if you didn't get into the pre-sale. The max contribution, as we can see in the pre-sale, you know, was one BNB. Um, it's a zero tax token and they did have at least you know one AMA so we can see you know that uh, they had a 600 you know BNB hard cap they did obviously fill that didn't take long to go ahead and fill on this token you know so soft cap 350 you know uh, they had a number of uh, addresses you know obviously whitelisted you know as well so again they didn't have any problems you know filling this um, didn't really see, you know, any big issues, you know, with uh, their token metrics, you know, on this one. So I know that I pay attention to the unlocked tokens, you know, but the percentage, you know, wasn't that bad to me. I'm looking at this, so I didn't consider that to be a real issue, you know, on this pre-sale. So, uh, so all that's being said, uh, they had a successful pre-sale. So uh, they do have a white paper, you know, certainly as always, you know, this uh, channel is not about you. Um, you know, or at least not about me encouraging you to invest, but more so about me encouraging you to get informed, you know, about any crypto project that we cover on the channel. Uh, and even for those that you look at, you know, outside of the channel, it's always about making sure that you are reading the documentation and getting informed about what are the finer details concerning the project, right? So a lot of different things to engage with here in regards to their documentation. Uh, if we take a look at the chart, uh, we can see what's going on. They started at just over 400000 on the market cap uh, they had a bit of a delay uh, on the launch so I believe I believe you still had to wait like an extra 20 minutes or something you know before they launched you know but when they launched we can see here they spiked up you know really high and then um, I think it went to something like uh, 1.3 1.4 million and then it came you know came all the way back down and then we started to see you know more buys come in and it's just kind of been you know, up and down all over the place, you know, um, we see another spike here, consolidated down. Um, but also remember, this is a zero tax token, you know, so uh, I tend to, you know, see a lot more volatility with zero tax tokens. Uh, we tend to see more bot activity, you know, with zero tax you know, tokens. So, uh, but this one didn't seem too bad, you know, looking at the launch, you know, I was hoping to get the video out on this one before the launch, you know, but it just did not happen uh, the way my day went this morning. So, I do apologize for that. I try to get these, this stuff out to you guys you know, early so that you can have a chance to at least look at the projects before they get launched. You know, but sometimes it doesn't always happen. So, um, but uh, with that said, you know, this is the chart. So it's still early. You know, obviously they haven't even been launched you know, for a day yet. Um, they seem to be, I mean, I've seen some dips you know, into the 800,000s, um, but I mean, not anywhere close to, to where they were uh, when they launched, you know, so uh, this seems to be, you know, where they're finding some support uh, from all indications, you know, from what I'm seeing and what I've been seeing, you know, throughout the day today. I do, I would imagine there's probably going to be, um, you know, uh, a little bit of time before this moves, but uh, whether it happens, you know, in a day or two, I know that they did mention they're supposed to be looking at BitMart listing, you know, on the 27th. So who knows what this token will do between now and the 27th or how that bitmark listing will affect uh, the price action, you know, on this chart. Um, I also do believe that when you, when they get traded, you know, on uh, bitmark, that it's going to be USDT will be one of the uh, pairs associated, you know, with the token there. So just uh, keep that in mind, you know. But when they launched, it was paired to BNB. So. On Pukey, on Pukecoin. So uh, moving back over to the main page, uh, we see some links in the navigation bar. Um, you know, and then we also have this whitelist, which they probably need to go ahead and get rid of, just because the whitelist, you know, is already over, and they've already launched, right? So, okay. Then we see, you know, a little banner here, you know, with just some PR. Uh, we see here reimagine your fitness and be the best version of yourself. Join the community. This is going to be, you know, to their Telegram. 
and it says welcome to the future what is iMove and so you can go ahead and play the video to go ahead and get some information there and then they talk about their vision it's the first inclusive fitness app for people of all ages letting you earn crypto while you walk and get healthy we aim to nudge millions toward a healthier lifestyle and connect them to web3 now somebody in the voice chat that they had earlier you know pre-launch you know did talk about you know what do you do you know for those individuals that may have disabilities you know and you know they're not able to go ahead and walk you know and engage with the with you know with this project in the conventional way that someone uh, of a non-disabled category could and so i think it came down to making sure that you submitted some documentation to go ahead and verify um, you know that you are indeed a person with disabilities um, and that once the team was able to verify that you know then there's a category that you can check that you know um, for those individuals that could qualify as uh, as deemed you know an individual with a disability so just want to also put that out there that i thought that was a, a good signal uh, for me personally that you don't always hear about these types of projects you know addressing um individuals with disabilities and so uh for that to be a question to be asked in the voice chat and to also see that the team was ready and prepared for that and also had something in place to address in a very tangible way individual with individuals with disability and their engagement you know with this project i thought was it was very good uh, personally so uh, moving forward they give you the mission you know as well um and then a button here where you can download the app download the app and then watch the video we get game modes solo mode marathon mode uh, mode for disabled people again this was something you 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 don't really ever see with these projects but i thought this was very good and intentional thinking on their part to make sure not to exclude those individuals because you qualify you know as um you know in, in, in the way of Yes, I am a person with a disability. So um, all it says here, all of the projects have not taken into account the feelings of people with disabilities and paid no attention to them, leaving them neglected and, and thereby feeling left out as if they did not exist, which is an excellent point. Our project was the first to involve uh, and take into account all people with different abilities. It becomes easy for them to benefit from it because we have taken care of their skills unlike any other projects. So I love that personally in regards to this because they are very, they, they are extremely you know uh, on they're very much on point uh, when they address the fact that this is uh, this is a project and the first that I've seen that actually takes into account uh, this category of individuals uh, that are disabled and um, they are people just like anybody else and so um, I, I know several people even in my own life um, you know even in my own history you know where I have dealt with and uh, cared for um, individuals with disabilities and so uh, I think that the intentional thinking that goes into addressing uh, people that do have disabilities um, it is it's 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 something that deserves attention and um, I certainly for one appreciate the fact uh, that they were intentional in addressing uh, such an important aspect um, you know that, that, that I think so many crypto projects do not pay attention to so hopefully you know in the future I'd personally like to see more projects um, place some weight and attention on the fact that it's not just non-disabled people that are engaging in crypto projects there are people that do have disabilities that want to participate you know but again you know more projects need to take that into account as they uh, continue on in their own development of their of their respective projects so uh, with that said we see target numbers um, we also see the roadmap here um, we see phase one phase two phase three and phase four um, so obviously here we're looking at you know, early stages, you know, pre-launch you know, stuff, website development, white paper, uh, KYC in the team, marketing, so forth. So we see phase two here, Twitter marketing campaign, CoinGecko listing, YouTube marketing campaign, SEO. You don't always see SEO, but I have seen you know, I have, you know a few you know short uh, or well, a small amount I should say. Uh, projects that do go ahead and focus on SEO, which means they're not just limiting uh, their exposure and their footprint to trying to grow that, you know, in through Telegram or through uh, conventional crypto channels, but they're trying to go ahead and widen their footprint and look to other, you know, avenues to get more exposure, you know, for their projects. Uh, tier one exchange listings, I think that's, you know, very ambitious, you know, so early on, but we'll see if it works out for them. Um, 
Phase three, we see partnerships with professional athletes, uh, initiation of major partnerships, fitness, ambassador campaign kickoff, sport and fitness brands, partnerships, um, iMove, Beta One, Sata Mass listing. I think that's going to be interesting to see how that works out. Uh, multi chain, so bridging to Solana and Polygon and the Avalanche team. Um, notice that they don't mention Ethereum. That's interesting to me. Maybe they're just trying to focus on keeping fees low. Uh, for participants, becoming a top 100 market cap uh, crypto. Uh, listing iMove NFTs on Binance NFT Marketplace tier 2 exchange listings. Become a top tip, top 50, you know, so again, very ambitious here. Become the fifth largest market cap, you know, crypto. So, uh, you know, and I've mentioned on other videos that we don't really need this. We don't need this. And, you know, we don't need this here. Uh, they're all aspirational things. Look, everybody wants to try to grow their holder account. And everybody wants to go ahead and become, uh, you know, or at least be a crypto that, you know, reaches the top 100 in terms of uh, recognized, you know, crypto projects. So uh, we'll see, you know, how that goes for them. We'll see if that's something they can actually realize uh, through the full development and phases of their project. I do have questions in regards to this, you know, um, are they going to be doing any additional updates, you know, to their roadmap? You know, we don't see anything here that indicates they're going to be upgrading the roadmap beyond phase four. Um, we also don't see anything that checks off, you know, what they've already completed. And as I've mentioned in my feedback, you know, from many other roadmaps, um, are they, you know, what are they done to indicate, you know, what's pending, ongoing, where they currently are in terms of the development of the project? We don't get any of those uh, kind of signals here looking at the roadmap, which it would be helpful to see, especially if you're a new visitor coming to the website for the first time. Uh, we see here uh, everybody can use an anti-cheating system, 100% uh, data privacy, um, you know, and that's just, just making sure that, you know, that, hey, uh, this is for all people um, and they want to make sure that, you know, everybody's engaging, you know, with the project uh, in the right way. You know, so I like the fact that they are paying attention to making sure people aren't cheating and that they are protecting your pri protecting the privacy of your data. Uh, let's see, they've got a KYC certificate. OK, then we see partners and supporters and supported chains. And then, so let's see here, join your community, Discord and Telegram are available. Um, and then here, you know, zero clicks, you know, but you can click on this stuff and like a little game that they have for you to engage with. Um, and how to buy, you know, iMove. And so uh, they give you some instructions, you know, here as well. Uh, FAQ section here at the foot of the page. And they tell you to get started now. So that takes us through, you know, the iMove project. I think it looks like an interesting project. I don't really have any right, you know, flags of concerns for me uh, in regards to the project. Um, you know, Pinksel's already given them a safe food badge, you know, but even beyond that, I would say for anybody, don't just decide that because they have a safe food badge that you know that you just go ahead and jump in. I always say there's much more to any project in crypto than just simply listening to the hype of what anybody else is saying. I mean, they had almost 800 people on their VC this morning. You know, um, my my thing is it's not so much, you know, about the hype or, you know, how many people want to go ahead and ape into a project, but making sure that you have done your due diligence to make sure that you get informed about a project before you decide to go ahead and jump into it. Always inform yourself. And that should direct your steps in terms of how uh, how you decide to participate in a project. So with that said, thank you guys so much for, for watching. I'll leave the links that are relevant to the project in the description below. Um, subscribing, liking, and commenting, all those things help a small channel like this. We get our content out to more people on YouTube. And I can't grow this channel without you. So thank you so much for continuing to follow me and support uh, what I'm doing here uh, through this channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. And you guys enjoy the day.